Hello, hello! Welcome back. It is Sketchbook Challenge day number 12, and if you're new here, welcome. So today I am doing a fan art of Studio Ghibli's My Neighbor Totoro. This is a really, really cute movie. I absolutely love the characters in there. Plot, yeah, but what can we say? Studio Ghibli is known for its artwork, and I am obsessed. So today I just wanted to challenge myself and do two characters in an environment which is the trees. I'm not really great at painting trees but I'm not mad about how this one turned out. Uh, except for the girl's face that needs a lot of work and honestly painting faces in gouache especially at this, this size is not my forte. So I'm gonna work on it. I'll get better hopefully. Practice, perfect practice makes perfect. But yeah I was really excited to do this one because this movie is so cute and the scene, the scenes are really, really, really nice. I want to do another scene, but I thought this little baby Totoro was, I think this is a baby Totoro, but it's so cute, and I was like, oh, so adorable. If I could, like, have this as, like, my mascot, I would. It's so, so perfect, the way it walks, but yeah. So I'm pretty excited about this one. This is using gouache. This is my whole Holbein gouache. So... I was just trying to get used to painting environments and I was actually watching the movie while I was painting this as per usual. I normally watch the movie or the show I'm painting while I'm doing the artwork. I think it just gets me in the moment but yeah the movie is really pretty good. I definitely liked it. I would recommend if you have Netflix because it's free now. Well not free because you're paying for Netflix but if you have Netflix it's there so yes watch it. Um, yeah, so a few words about the artwork. I used a limited color palette. I only have 12 gouache colors anyway. I'll link down the colors down below. But for the things I like and the things I struggle with. So I struggle a little bit with the trees at first because I just couldn't seem to get the right tone for them. At first they were just a little bit too cool, a little bit too gray like, and I wanted them to have a little life to them so I ended up going over the trees with a little bit more of a neutral tone with a little bit more color punch in it. But yes, most of the trees were cool and then the ones in the front were more warm so I just really took my time in trying to mix the right colors using blue green, primary yellow, uh, sky blue, and a few other shades until I got that right. So here I am going in with a little bit of a warmer green in the front to really bring in the dimension. That's the one thing I definitely like about Studio Ghibli's artwork is that the use of colors and the way they kind of lay everything down is so unique. Anyways, I wanted to give the girl a more playful, playful look. So I went in with some pinks and pastels. So you'll see me going in here with a pink and then I used a little bit of a darker pink to kind of go in for the shading. And I also did her shoes and her bag more of a bright yellow than in the movie. The movie she has more of a mustard bag, but personally, I just really wanted her to pop. But now I kind of regret that because I don't like her face very much. But yeah, so that's what I was kind of going for. Um, she looks kind of off. Well, she, she does look off in the end, but she looks kind of off in the moment because... Right now she's all gouache and then I went over her with fine liner later on because I wanted to lay down all of the greens first to make sure I had all of the right colors that I was looking for. And then for her skin tone I did a mix of like flesh, shell pink, and white ivory. I wanted her to not be too washed out so I gave her a little bit more of a rosy tone with the shell pink. I found um like there because my water was so dirty with the green, which was my which was my total mistake, I ended up making her a little bit green looking, so I had to go over a few times, but that also led to her face being very um thick, cakey looking in the end, which you might not be able to see on camera, but I can see it in person. So that's something to also I have that's something I also have to note for next time I paint and yeah, so because I water a lot of my paints down while I'm painting to kind of get an idea of where I'm placing everything, I had to go over the sky again, so I went over it again and left a little gap for the tree, which kind of looks off right now, but it will fix itself later. This is the one difficult thing about painting in gouache or watercolor, that it definitely has an ugly stage until you finally do the fine details and it slowly like comes together. 
Anyway, so here I am adding a little bit more shading, and that's kind of what the rest of this is really about. Me just going over the trees, making everything work. So I'm just going to let you enjoy and play some Studio Ghibli music for you. Sorry to cut your music short, but I just had a few last final words. So here I am going with the fine liner, adding a lot more detail to her. As you can tell, it cleans up the whole look a lot. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos and art vlog coming soon. So I'll see you next time. Bye!